again, and we're going to let her pull another one out. Okay. All right, thank you. Lock and chain, and I'll go get my book, and we'll take a gander at it. Here is our block for the day. Let's pull out our material, uh, and let's make a pattern for them round things. I've looked on the internet for measurements on this one, too, and I don't see any. Looks like I've got a rare book that I can't find most of the patterns for. So, let's get started. Alrighty. So, I'm going to use these two rulers. This right here is a scallop ruler. <clears throat> so, if you wanted to know what kind that one was. And, of course, everybody should know this one by now. So, we are going to draw our line for that. And now we're going to cut it out. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to use my scallop ruler <clears throat> to make those little round things. So I'm going to fold this one in half this way <clears throat> so I know where the middle is on this. <clears throat> I don't know what they're putting in that air, that chemtrail air, but <clears throat> I used to not never have allergies, and now I'm just eat up with allergies. Okay, now we got that one going. Now I want to find my two. I think I'm going to have to make that a little bit darker so I can see what is going on here. Make it dark so I can see it well. If I can get it to go right. Alrighty. So, oh yeah, now I can see it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this like this. And then I'm going to do both of them. Put it about in the middle. Can you see how dark that is? I'm going to do this side too. <clears throat> Alrighty. Yeah, I could be happy with that. Alright, what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to go ahead and take my ruler and I'm going to lay it <clears throat> down the middle of it and I'm going to make these two go in, the, in, in like all full together My uh, other cutter that I don't care too much for, and I use it for stuff like this now. And what we're going to do is we're going to take, and we are going to <clears throat> do it like this. <clears throat> now, I don't want to take and cut the whole full thing. But I just want a point. <clears throat> there we go. Alrighty. I can handle that. So see, <clears throat> now I got one out. So now we'll cut the other side out too. I'm 
do that little bit with the scissors to cut in that one. Alrighty. <clears throat> There we go. Now then, <clears throat> we have this. <coughs> and you see it'll fit on this block. And we'll have a seam allowance here and here. But now when we go to do it, I want to put this all the way around touching. So, I'm not quite for sure if I want to use this as the pattern or this one. I think these would probably be better as the pattern. That's all right. We can cut two and see how that works. We'll see which one works better. So, <clears throat> let me find some material and we'll be back. All right, I'm going to use this bright, that's a blue and orangish color. And we are going to go like this. <clears throat> Cut that bad baby out. All right. Now that we got our four. So now we need a color <coughs> to go in the middle of those. So... <clears throat> we are going to go with a brown. I really think a brown would show up pretty good. So, <clears throat> well, what, what the hell? If I can hang on to it. <clears throat> there we go. Now then. Let's take a gander, and we're going to go with this one first. I think I better open it from the looks of it and do two at a time. And I'm going to pin it two places. Hopefully. <clears throat> now then, I think I have to draw it out would be the best bet. And I'm not going to worry about the color. Because this is just a test run. Oh, come on. I don't think I'm going to like this. I don't, <clears throat> I don't care too much for that blue showing. Alrighty. I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and make another one while I got this out here. I'm sorry, but... <clears throat> okay, I'm going to go ahead and draw this one. And I'm going to hand cut these two out. Then we'll come back and I'll show it to you. And that way you ain't got to watch me do all that. Alright, <clears throat> I got them cut out. So now what we want to do is we want to take one of our blocks, party side up, and then we are going to take our chain, our one length, and we're going to put it in the middle. One on both sides. We're going to put the thing but it lures down here at the bottom together. Alright, this one right here is backwards. <clears throat> there we go. Now then, and we can scoot it down. <coughs> Oh, I hate this. Okay. Let's see if you can see it pretty good. Eh, let's get you down here. Can you see it? Alright, now I'm going to go over and I'm going to sew it. I know these blue ones won't go away. But, 
Uh, I don't think I want to do that. Let's not use that blue one. Let's change it to the other one. <clears throat> and I'm going to have to find something else. Because it's too gone. Because I'm not going to use that blue one. I, I don't I don't want that blue in my quilt. <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to like it. Okay. So now I'm going to pin it down. And I'm going to... Um... Uh, do the zigzag all the way around it. Because we only need three of these. These right here. So, I am going to go do that. And I'm going to use a blue thread so that it will show up more. So, we're going to go do that. Let's take one more gander at it. Uh, yeah, there you go. You can see it pretty good. Well, here is our trial box. And, of course, I got different kinds on here. Because I was, I thought I had it right, but according to my machine, I didn't. So, um, <clears throat> I, I like this bigger one better. So, this right here was a trial run. I should have went ahead and used them other block, the other one with the blue them right there i should have used them oh well life goes on that throws you all kinds of junk but then you have to just say okay we learned a lesson and we'll keep on going but anyway um this is what we want i think that three of those are going to look good so let's get to cutting these back out and I'll, so we're going to put you back here. We're going to throw this block over here in the, I don't want you pile. Okay. Now I've already done cut out me an extra block. Because I know I'm going to have to have, let's see, let me find my picture. I lost my picture. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to have three of them. I didn't need it, but, oh, well, yeah, I do too. I do too. I do too. I do too. Okay. Now, so... <clears throat> We want to take and line these back up and we want to pin them down. <clears throat> Maybe it'll go. All right, this time I'm going to use two of them. Okay. Now then. I do it like this. Okay. So now then I'm going to cut these out. And we'll use them. I only need three sets of the chain. So <clears throat> I'm wondering if I can do it like this. Y'all can watch me make a boo-boo. <laughs> Alright, so far, so good. Y'all might get to see me, what, chop my fingers off. Alrighty. Now then, I'll cut that down that way. No, 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 no. Got one done. That's one set of chain. Now, let's see if we can't cut this one down. <coughs> Hooray! Alright, so now I only need one more set of chains. 
So I'm going to cut them off. And then when I cut them, then we'll be back. Ready now then. <clears throat> Let's get these blocks ready to go. So we're going to lay pretty side up. Pretty side up. <clears throat> this would help if I did that. Alrighty. We kind of want to make them even. And pretty side. Now this right here was the problem was up here in the corner. It was right here was where part of my problem was with sewing them down. So my suggestion is, is when you go to sew, sew it down here, go this way all the way around up again then go all the way around the outside and still put you there okay go in all the way around take it loose then up here go out all the way around that would work so that would be a suggestion so now i'm going to pin these down and I am going to take it to the sewing machine and I'm going to do the zigzag stitch all the way around and I have blue in so the chain would show a whole lot better it's a dark blue of course I guess you've seen it on that block so there's me one and all so I'll get these done and then I'll come back and show you Alrighty, I have the three done. I'm coming over here so I can lay the block out the way it shows in the book. And it shows it going this way. So we have all three of them <clears throat> done. So I am happy with this so far. So now it shows that we need one, two, three, four blocks. And this is the same kind, but a different color. Can you see the difference in the color in these two? Okay, so I want to use this. So now we are going to put these two together. And we're going to cut us out four blocks. And we want... This ruler right here. And cut it up. Alright. I hate them stringy things. Alright. through to get a block okay so now then I didn't turn you over you didn't see what I did okay that's my fault all right so we have these four now I lay everything out here straight for you to see. Alrighty. So far, that is what the block looks like. <clears throat> and I think it looks pretty good. Let me get rid of this corner. There we go. Now you can see it. Pretty much. Now, our next thing is we have these two blocks let me turn you this away we have these two blocks right here that we've got to do so now then we have got these two so what I'm going to do is oh do I have two right here no I don't 
I was only dreaming. Okay, we have these two. And we can cut two, uh, well, be four more. Let's see if I got a couple of blocks in this thing that we can get out and use. Look at here. We've got these two. And they are not the same. That ain't gonna work. Here's these. These will work because they still have the same color in them. So, <clears throat> now then, that we have this, why don't we take, and since we'll do it like this, pretty sides together, we only need one, really. <clears throat> pretty sides together. You know, I think I'm just going to do it different. I still think we ought to go ahead and sew. But I think what we're going to do is go just a little bit past this. And we're going to mark it here. We're going to sew down this line. Alright. Then I'm going to go over half an inch. And I'm going to draw it again. And I'm going to sew on that line. And the reason why is so that this side will be wider than this side. Because that's what we need is something wider. So we're going to draw on them two lines. And we're going to do two of them. So let's get busy on this. And we'll see what it looks like. Alrighty. Now then. We are going to give her a wipe down through here <clears throat> and then do this one the same way. All right. Now I can't take it to a sewing machine, I meant the ironing board because I got a, <clears throat> I got all the other blocks on it. So that ain't going to work too well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to press it this way. This material is really funny. I mean really funny. <clears throat> Where's my rolling pin? Okay. So we're going to do it that way. There we go. Now then. So this block down here. This block at the top. <clears throat> Hang on, I'm coming. <clears throat> da -da -da. Well, sorry about the earthquake. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Oh, I think it looks good. I think it looks good, and I think it looks like the book. Yip, 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 yip. Down, there we go. So, I will sew them all together and I'll show you a picture.